Katie Mountner. I'm a student intern at Bonneville Power, and we are out here today learning about the Albany Burnt Wood Santee Am Toledo transmission uh, line and the wood pole replacement project. I'm, I'm Rob Oaks. I work in the Bonneville Power Administration Transmission Line Maintenance Technical Services Division, currently managing the wood pole replacement program. Uh, Wood being a natural materials tend to degrade over time and our goal is to keep the system safe and reliable by replacing the bad poles before they fail. Uh, these are some of our poles that have been pulled out. There's a project going on to replace these poles. Over time the uh, lines will degrade to the point where they get beyond what our crews can take care of and so they become a good project to contract out, take advantage of the size of the, of the project. These are some of the poles that have been pulled out so far. We've got combination of creosote treated Douglas fir. You can see the, the dark ring around that uh, pole on top of the pile there. Those are poles that are very subject to uh, ground line heart rot, uh, which is a deficiency that will cost a lot of strength out of the pole. These are older cedar poles and they're subject to shell rot. The heart rot will stay in good condition. Uh, you can see the butt here was treated before they were installed, but over time the part that's exposed to the weather tends to degrade real bad and the shell is where the bulk of the pole strength is at so when these start to go after about 60 years of being in service they lose quite a bit of their strength. Hello, I'm Merrick Orth with uh, the Senior Project Management Group within Transmission Engineering. Out here today with uh, Rob and Casey we're looking at the Albany Burtwoods and San Ian Toledo lines. Uh, currently we've got, uh, have hired Michaels Power to go through and uh, replace all wood poles Conductor hardware, guys, um, a lot of the cross arms. And you can see behind me here, uh, on the right side, the Sandy and Toledo line. Uh, they've got a large boom crane up, helping support the line as they uh, replace the wood pole and the other uh, hardware associated with that. You can see here, we're removing the old pole on this uh, 230 kV wood pole structure on the Sandy and Toledo line. guys will pull it up, they'll set it aside, take a look at the uh, existing hole, they'll uh, use the auger there on the side of the, the crane you can see, they'll re-auger it if needed, um, and then they'll put the new hole in place in the same exact hole, and then we'll use some 5 8 inch minus gravel for the backfill material. The construction crew has gone through and replaced this structure right behind me. It's, uh, they use the old cross bracing, but it's all it's two new wood poles and a new cross arm, and uh, come up with the uh, the new structure. We also replaced the uh, insulator strings and all the hardware associated with it. So this is the next structure ahead online on the San Diego Toledo line. This 230 kV structure you can see has been worked on once before. At one point in time, TLM has replaced the pole on the left side. If you notice on the right side, the pole's got faded pole, it's got wood guy strain insulators. On the left side you can see it's a newer pole, uh, fiberglass strain insulator, but even those those strain insulators have weathered out and are in need of replacement. So in a few minutes the structure will be completely rebuilt right down to the conductor.